All right, cash in hand. Bots in bays. Starting to round out an upper, an upper medium squad. But reaching the point where we need to be on the lookout for a chance to go large. That in mind. I think I start setting aside money on, uh, on chunks. Right, let's see again. In our, in our bay. Pieces of Marauder, Orion, Dragon, Rifleman. All of these would be starting fresh. The Missile Cyclops. Could definitely talk about using the hammer or the archer. Yeah, pick that up. Two skull polar recovery. Or crime. Yeah. That sounds like just the thing to warm up on. Bird is horse. Bird is horse. The traditions of bird and horse together at last. What are the fundamental forms of fighting machine? Horse. While bird is not a fundamental, it is an advanced technology. Bird is a common modifier. Absolutely. Just think about it. If you could have a horse that was just a bird. Now, obviously, that means it probably can't actually carry you because it's a bird and therefore exceptionally fragile. How large but, a bird, though? I mean, we're talking about a horse-sized bird. Yeah. I actually need to think about... Okay, so when it comes to the large terrestrial birds, okay. uh, a fair amount of their bones okay. are fully solid, but also a fair amount of them are still uh, hollow. Yeah, so as long as the load-bearing bones yes. are properly reinforced. No problem. Mm -hmm. On my way. Got it. Also, because that's supposing you limit yourself to only using the stock configuration of the bird. That's fair. 
it's a bird of war, you can just go ahead and uh, start making some modifications. Mm -hmm. Yes, Commander. What kind of modifications would you recommend? Lowering it? Hydraulics? On Rotating? Imbruging? Mm -hmm. On the move. Burnishing the bird? Imbruging it makes a lot of sense to me. Honestly, that, that, that's like the first step, I feel like. Gotta at least chondrate that bird. Yeah. So, a Black Knight. Black Knight. Yo. Okay. All right, that's then. Beams. That's beams. That's beams and 75 oh, okay. tons of tonnage to work with. So... that because of the settings that I'm using is not going to be capturable right away, but having most of a Black Knight, or even part of a Black yeah. Knight. And, I mean, you might get the, the large laser that's attached to it, or amongst other things, it's... Ready to go nah, still good shit reasons to fight and shoot that Black Knight down. Receiving you. Commander? Got to sand out all the protuberations of your warbird. Engaging jump jet. Let's oh, it's got a PPC. Right. And particle light. Hey, Gunchback. Hey, Gunchback. Hey. Gunchback, why did you only shoot one laser? Gunchback, what about your gun? It's really big. That's your name. That's your That's job, Gunchback. One laser? It's cold outside. You can, you can shoot with all your lasers, even. Gunchback. Lifting off. I have concerns about Gunchback. It is a gun. Someone, please check on Gunchback. And just a horse over there. Engaging jump jets. This is the gun. This is the gun ammo shoulder. Yeah, the gun itself is on the right shoulder, but the ammo is in the left. Waiting for orders. Heading out. Yeah, Rainbow Vereen needs more jets. I copy. That's an almost destroyed arm, at least. So this was a low danger mission that decided to put all of its tonnage into one robot, pretty much. Mm, two robots, yeah. But still, yeah, yeah two but skulls. A, gunch back. It's, yeah, but it's also only a three enemy lance. It's not even a full four enemy one. See, so we're doing right robots. Yeah. yeah. Whatever happened to AK-47? Uh, Do they didn't die? No. Angelo Killmore. AK-47 Killmore <sighs> did, did his work. You could have tried harder. Okay, gun is neutralized. Good work. Maybe you'll kill I mean, an AK-47. The thing is, I mean, uh, I did do another playthrough recently as Danaway M16 Killmore, who was, uh, you know, his sister. And yeah, that's canon. I mean, that's canon, yeah. And uh, she order. also won. She survived. It was no problem. I ended up with overwhelming power too early in the game, basically, and it never really had that much trouble. Uh, 
being a pirate is exceptionally powerful. Standing by. Lifting off. Hmm. 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 How hard are you thinking right now? Think levels are nominal. Think levels are Beastmaster. Moderate. Beastmaster. 105 percent. We're at Beastmaster think levels, I think. It's not even close to, like, the higher levels of thinking. Yes. Medium think. Yeah. Stay safe. This is, a... this is the exact situation in which a Black Knight actually functions as a real robot. In you know the frigid tundra, all other situations are they're <coughs> they run way too hot. They're roughing up my right arm, home of my very expensive ultra cannon. Commander. All right, I guess Bird Horse will walk. Bird Horse is at walking temperature. Firing a full salvo. Understandable. You have heat sinks in your arms. Weird. The Black Knight is a. Uh, Confirmed. It's a robot. Locked you can make it excellent, <laughs> honestly. It, it is not a bad robot on its hard points and its tonnage and all that stuff. It even has a completely reasonable engine size to it. It's just that all of its stock loadouts are way overgunned. Good to go. It can't support that much gun on them. There's too much gun. There's way too much gun on that deck. It's more or less just one of those robots that suffers a lot from stock loadout, nothing else. Well, I oh, know. Arm. Farewell, Ultra 10. Hmm. Dang. It's a real good thing that Ultra ACs aren't actually that expensive. UAC 10s and 20s are like, internal damage. I think, about 500,000 and 650,000 respectively or something like that. Let's see how you like this. Kick him in Dang. the spine. Nice kick. Please. Score to critical A flawless hit. kick directly to the gun and then shooting the gun to fully destroy it. Remove every part of its being. Take a moment to cool off. And by that we mean go ahead and kick this gunch back real quick. She's gonna break his legs. 
Gunchback is a natural heat sink. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm impressed with how well these robots have managed to just laser focus on the arm and torso. You have a nearly full armor on the center torso and left. Kick you in half. Critical damage detected. Order. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Acknowledged. Dang, I, I think all you gotta do is, uh... Well, you did side torso already. Warning. Knocked yes. him down already. Mech warrior injury. End to end. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. Oh, shit. Face to face. It punched, it punched you in the face. Basis of all uh, combat. That robot's no coward. Eh, it's fine if it happens to Skeletra. That doesn't bother anyone. Skeletra being reduced to, like, individual bone particles is a, an acceptable situation. On my way. Let's be rid of the gunch. None of you. One more for the kill board. Yes, Commander. And let's be rid of the Black Knight. Here it comes. That's a kill. Hey, uh, you got. Aye, aye. That's three chunks of that Black Knight are now available in the, the scavenge pool. Because uh, you blew up both side torsos. You incapacitated the pilot without coring it out or blowing off both legs. Good stuff. Hmm. Neat. Confirmed. Given how overall low paying this was, I assume you Eight went for scalvage? Yeah. Scalvage? Yeah, Hold scalvage. On. Scalvager's rights. Yeah. I love scalvage. <laughs> well, it's it's skull scal salvage, you know. that All things that the, the skeleton crew do are scalvage. That is on brand. Mm-hmm. And I can probably sweep the legs on this Jenner. I believe there was a point in which when this game came out that you could only ever deal one pilot damage in a turn against an enemy. It was very frustrating if you happen to blow up a side torso and knock them down in the same turn. Warning. Armor low. That's not the case anymore if it ever was the case. I'm pretty sure it was at one point. Firing. To shreds, you say. Enemy down. To shreds, indeed. There could be reinforcements, but I bet it will be like locusts and way. stuff. If there are. I copy. Maybe a second gunch back. You know, maybe three demolishers. Maybe three demolishers. Roger. 
Not even. Okay. Nothing. Yes. That's the entire enemy weight budget being put in one robot. Pretty much, yeah. Farewell, standard heatsink. Also the Ultra 10, I guess. The upgraded Ultra 10. Yes. One Black Knight hey, That was That was a center. It didn't say it recorded at the center tower, though. So. Weird. It was somewhere in that swarm. It's always the center. Always. There's no such thing as a left torso. It's actually only a center torso. But there could be a left torso. If you would just vote Skeletra. Elections are an important part of pirate tradition. Absolutely. Right. Guns. Not LBX-10! Ah, oh, shotgun time! Yeah! Do you have ammo for the LB-10X? Uh, LB-ammo is the one that's actually different. Hmm. LB-10, yeah, LB-ammo actually requires... By, yeah, they Fortunately, got... they made, like, ammo boxes generically available everywhere for exactly this reason. Mm -hmm. New equipment available. So, regular 10 ammo out. LB ammo in. And that is lighter than the Ultra 10, so I have some weight budget with which I could up gun. Yeah, I think up gunning is the way to go here. Yeah. I think the LBs are both slightly lighter and also run a little cooler than standard auto cannons. So you don't require as many heat sinks to deal with them. And you can also deal with, uh, like, they're slightly lighter. So you can also fit more stuff on them. Mm -hmm. Now, with that said, they do basically the same amount of damage, but it's spread across a zone. So yeah, wide damage. Yeah, so fundamentally, they're they're technically kind of worse at actually doing damage and taking Max out. But they're still good, because it's still doing a surprising amount of damage. Yeah, that's temperature I'm okay with. Still undecided on which second skill goes on on the bones. What's up, boss? I love giving the the Dream protagonist bird. character scout because uh, right here. I mean it just d dedicates making them the scout. Training complete. Commander, standing by. Ready for order. Protagonist is a natural point. Mech warrior training complete. No questioning that. Canopus versus pirates, no. Local government versus pirates, no. One of the best things about all the contracts is that if there's ever a thing against the local government, that is literally no problem whatsoever because they have zero power. It is completely free. They don't even get tracked as what their opinions are against you. Nice. Formed. Hey, four star flashpoint in the vicinity. No, we're not doing that. That's pretty nasty. That's that's gonna be rough. Forget yeah. if Detroit is on here. 
got a bunch of two-star play. Yeah, Detroit, that whole starter area is still on the map. It is the regular map. Let's see, Spencer, Cygnus. Mm -hmm. Where is Space Destroyed? It should be somewhere around here, right? Pretty sure. I, I don't remember exactly. I'm sure I could go dig up, like, the back. There it is. Oh, there it is. There, there's Space okay. Detroit. Agriculture, Space aquaculture, Detroit. chemicals, chemicals, medium gravity. Th there's chemistry here. Water mm -hmm. population, periphery civilization, Terran planet. I could move towards Detroit. Len Haugen. Len Haugen is apparently uninhabited. Good. If we're nearly broke, but we're still above the bottom line, hello. There we go. Black market invitation for free. Finally. Just come on in. Crime. So the black market is the entryway to power. Also, when you begrudgingly enter the black market, despite an animosity with pirates, they're they're gouging you with extreme prices, with enemy prices. If you are a friend to pirates, you get the good loot and also the discounts. Friend prices are absolutely, completely killer. They're incredible. All right, let me actually go to Clough's stand then, since there is crime there. Calculating course now. We were on our way over to the jump ship, and then all of a sudden, uh, Never we got mind. invited by, yeah, a pirate showed up and said, hey, you want to join the our organization? And we immediately, like, slammed that button, yes. Get on, got on in there. All right, so regular shop. Let's see, assassin. A lot of javelin parts. Quick draw. Victor. Hugo. Yo, Victor. Victor nine B. More hammer. I could have another piece of the hammer. The heat bank. Heat banks are great. Mortars. Hello. Hello, mortars. Why does it cost three million to have one artillery? Because I believe it's single use for uh, every fight. So it, it is, is a, a single bonus. gigantic tube. Yeah. They're very powerful. Rangefinder. Yeah, so regular store, pretty threadbare. A lot, good mech parts. Couple of standout beats, not a lot of weaponry. Crime market, though. Hi. 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 Hello, eight Hi. chunks of an annihilator for only a million each. That's a six, squinting at it. But yeah, four million C bills for an annihilator. In comparison, basically the same amount of money would go into one chunk of that Warhammer you were talking about. And there's four of the there's plenty of these to go around. I need I need three million bucks and then hi, new centerpiece of the entire company. Five it's gun, exactly five beam, two support points. And on top of that, there's a special chunk on the annihilator that makes all ballistic damage off of one do more. So a gun. Finally. Each it's 20% extra damage off of every ballistic weapon on the Stalker Stalker piece, complete victor, complete other victors. Ah, oh, the AC-20 victor. Versus, you know, the other AC-20 victor. They all use the big gun. 
Uh, Inferno missiles, very upgraded LRMs, PPC plus pluses. More snub PPCs. What's up? Small pulse lasers, my favorite guns. Look at that. With reduced That's 45 heat. damage. Small pulse laser. 45 damage. On a small on weapon. On a support weapon. UAC 20 plus plus. Ultra auto cannon with plus 20 damage. And it weighs and three fewer three tons. Plus. This and is what crime only does. Six, only 600,000 for this. The, the black market plus plus is so... Exchanger. Welcome to crime. <laughs> the black market is so wildly powerful. It's disgusting. Every other faction has like some specific field of equipment that they are good at and will use a lot of. And so that shows up in their faction shop. Or you just ally with crime and get everything forever. Uh, yeah. Felons versus local government. All right. Here's an opportunity to mend some bridges. Which, hold on. What even was this? A recovery op. All right. For what Angus. it's worth, I've not actually managed to find a use case for the exchangers. They, they're not as good as just uh, heat sinks. Then you weren't building hot enough. I just, I, it's the plus plus one that you saw there. The the particularly powerful exchanger is a ton of slots for reducing the the, the heat of every shot by twenty percent. I think it was. So for every four medium lasers or whatever, you could have a fifth one on there, and well, for every five, you basically have one free one that you're firing. I think that's like even two more heat sinks would do the same thing. And that's less slots and less weight. You aren't building hot enough. I suppose. Plus I got a bit of a crackle on the mic today. You got some pops. I have no idea. Several how to mics it. have been haunted recently. Me and Ty have the same problem, neither of us know how to fix it. Ah, city map. Move order received. On the move. Affirmative. Picked up a blip. Yeah, stomping through traffic. Thousands dead. Okay, I will switch over to this to see if this helps. Some mechs, some vehicles. A lot of noises going on out there. Something has ECM. That's what's going on. Ah, so they have an enemy raven. Yes, Commander. Or there is a a truck with an ECM suite on it. They have an enemy raven in the form of a truck. Good to go. Bird van. Truck bird. Receiving you. Move order confirmed. Ready for orders. Man, Girl Scout cookies are such a good idea. Standing by. Roger. He's not wrong. There's a lot of 35 ton vehicles on this map and that's completely harmless, basically. Yeah, it, it's skull and a half. 
So if this is an honest mission rating, then it's going to be quite brittle and we'll stomp through it easily. So far, it seems like it. All of these tonnage readouts are very low. Yeah, the opposition here is small enough that I can honestly afford to have the team split up and go different directions. SRM carriers are 60 tons, so you would not see them in this loadout. Roger. The gun was in there somewhere. Yes, Yeah, fire starter is its usual level of dangerous. Locked up. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Ordered. Rainbow Varine still needs those jets. Awaiting orders. That is an interesting uh, close-up against an incredibly high, low-res texture. A locust. That's gonna hurt. Locust doing locust business. Stand in place. Commander. Catch fire, split in half. Just locust things. If the locust is the only thing guarding the second target zone, Rainbow Varine should actually just turn around and rejoin the rest of the lance. Copy that. Give them everything you got. There's bird. Got a lock on me. Ah, so there is a bird. There's trash bird. <laughs> the fire starter is really mad though, so it's getting out of there. Yes, correct. There is some hope for you, fire starter. Damn. I'm Good shot. Internal damage. Just take a PPC headshot. The second one's not likely to happen, so that just means you're real tough. That's like damage that's not happening to anything else. It's basically free health. Yes, Commander. Yeah. Aye, aye. Give him the stumps. Let's see how you like this. A perfect stomp. Gorgeous. Impressive. One less target. Never seen a better. Yes, Commander. Nope, too hot. Well, I also want to break uh, line of sight with the other jackass, so. Yeah, step up and deliver a punch. Got it. Here we go. Failing to deliver a punch is like a punch. What's up, boss? It's exactly how punches do. Okay, frame Boverine. Move up and enter the fight. That is probably going to be a core. 
if any of those could hit center core, so never mind. Inflicted some heavy damage. Much of the work is done. Something you want done. All of them missed the center torso, the thing you targeted. Nice. Much of the work is done. On my way. Why did you do that? Right Why did you step forward and let us into the bubble? Oh, that really what hurt. is with these headshots? Many headshots on Get this mission. On. Losing lots All of bullets order. direct your face. Oh, there's a second raven. There's two ravens on this mission. Two birds. This new prototype robot, the raven with its unique ECM suite. Completely also, irreplaceable. They could, they could just have two of them. On the move. All right, you get dead. Or get precisely not dead yet. It's going to die to this fall down. It's fine. Yeah. There. Commander. All right, Palisade, you go retrieve the payload. Waiting for orders. The data. Out. There's a ton of ECM in this mission, just in general. Wild. One for the scrap heap. Orders. Moving to position. All right, order. time to hopefully conduct bird removal. Heading out. The profile of the raven and of the locust are pretty much the same. Roger that. Same hat. Yeah. That hit something good. Commander. Picked directly in the small of the back. <laughs> and then shot the ammo. One left target. Nothing remains. To shred, you say. On the move. Hello, Gist. Engaging. Yes, you sleep now. Bye. 
Here we go. Orders? Nope, not in the bubble. Not in the bubble. Outside the zone, gun disallowed. Impossible. Affirmative. Well, it's not like you're wasting a shot. You're still hitting the locust. Reporting critical hit. Damn! <laughs> that locust, though. It blew up that oh, entire yeah. building. No, no problem. Yeah. Getting mad. I like it. You have potential. How much gun do I devote to finishing off the Locust versus opening up on the Panther? Feel like it's missiles and machine guns? Yeah. Correct. Ready for orders. Target's taken a critical hit. Standing by. Coordinates received. Nice. You finished. Bird. Firing at enemies. Goodbye. Bird. Damn. From Target fully armored bird. Mission successful. I mean, not surprising. Bird Raven is inferior to horse. Yeah, also true. Take your pick of many, many mech parts, I guess. Yep. More Firestarter. And here's a free Locust that you can sell for like 300,000 Gs. Yeah, I would accept a second Firestarter onto the crew. Sibling to Beams Jr. Bone Force. 
gets repair. Locust goes to market. Yeah, may as well clear a bunch of these bags. extras out that are in, yeah. in stores. All right, yeah. Javelin, gone. Locust, gone. Panther, gone. Spider. The two different spiders. The spider that could mount auto cannons. You want gun spider? What about gun spider? This though? one. This one can mount four small lasers in addition to a medium laser. That actually makes it better. That could actually be relatively competitive on, on attacking. What about auto cannons, though? That's not happening, and you know it. Gun spider, one bullet. More a than single, enough. As light as possible, auto cannon is, I believe, six tons without ammo. One bullet, more than enough. So that's one annihilator piece. New equipment available. Get some more jobs done. Get jobs done for a lot of cash. See about like going back and forth between the Capellans and local government. Never fighting pirates. Convoy ambush that's overpaying a bunch? On a two and a half? Yes. I'll rattle those bones. Even if I have to bring, like, Junior out of Bones Junior fame. D Bones Jr. That's him. That's Boneson. Love that guy. Boneson of the Mac Bones. The Bone Haver. Bones Jr. Unique among us as a robot with bones. This strange beast with its many bones. Command interface initiated. Contract of crime. Let's go. State sponsored crime. Excellent. Please remind me of my childhood. I hated my childhood. Moving to position. Copy that. Yeah, I think at some point they altered the way that the convoys work. The they never start like really far away and they they move away from you anymore. And that's good. Yeah, convoys seem like they've had better positioning. You always get to intercept a convoy now. You don't get You're screwed actually over driving by... in the correct location. Until, yeah. Hopefully Battletech 2 will have some element of, okay, here's what you know about the environment. Choose a drop point. Yeah, that would be great. Got it. The recon maybe slightly larger would be maps. nice. Moving larger maps also, but hey, reconnaissance? Mm -hmm. Planning. So my, my view of it is a little blurry. Do those say 70 or 20 tons? Those are 70 ton vehicles. 70 ton vehicles? I don't know what those are. What? No. When the game first came out, they only had the 20, 40, uh, well, 20, 35, 40. There's okay. a ramshackle gallant, or a shoddy gallant. With upgraded guns. 
Yes, that that's standard for the gallant. That's how it does. Okay. That's how it did. Now, if all of these robots have half armor, that would be so, so 80 good. ton vehicle. That's a demolisher or a Shrek. Yeah, heavy vehicle convoy and one heavy mech. Ready for orders. Yeah, that sounds like you're, uh, you're overpaying. Uh, full sprint in the open with Bones Jr., yeah. Get that intel on. Hey! Hey, I have a half of you. No, I have like Ooh. a one of you. There's hey, Hammer. One of you. Yeah. That could be really good, though. Aye, aye. Moving out. Hammer time? Perhaps. Roger that. Hammer without any armor. Hey. Nude hammer. You say so. Alright, heavy vehicle convoy, come in here and ruin my day. Reasonable number of RMs. Damage minimal. I think there's another gallant in there. Or some other, like, general battle tank. Like, okay, the 35s are going to be strikers. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah, the other 70 is bound to be a gallant. High missile carrier. LRM carrier is here. Stay safe, Bones. So most of this convoy is probably not that bad, though, right? Like, firing on target. Hard to say for sure. Well, in that, because it is vehicles, I'll be able to get into stomping range and start stepping on them. Yeah. You just need to get that in there first. Oh, and that's a fully armored gallon. Okay, so... Yeah. The escorts are shoddy, but the convoy itself is fully painted. Mm -hmm. It's a Shrek. Okay, so it's, a, it's a Shrek, not a demolisher. All right. Okay. Slightly safer. All right, that warhammer is almost down. Solid connection, that one. Okay. 
the AI deliberately calling shots at the face. Yeah, but they don't have any skill, like, the, the rating for it, so they're doing, like, a base called shot face, which is, oh, it's 1% more likely to hit the face. Still, though. Yeah. It basically just means that they didn't make a called shot, is what it ends up being. Position confirmed. Bones lives. For now. Roger. Man, I love the snub PPCs. Take that. Light damage, Commander. I've been sensor locked. The Shrek has been sensor pinging instead of attacking. Weird. And SRM carrier. Oh, that's bad. All range missile carriers. I'm incredibly pr impressed damage. that not only is the Rainbow Marine still up, it doesn't look like it has that much expo exposed structure. SRM carriers are the scariest things in the goddamn game. Would it be willing to death from above the LRM carrier? Acknowledged. Now, for the LRM carrier, I can just have bones. Smash that open. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Or. Yeah. Oh, the SRM carrier is weakened. Okay. That being inside. There, there you go. Okay. That is... Four. Okay, yeah, good. Vehicle kill. You know, you destroyed it. It's it's destroyed it. Hey. it wasn't loud enough when it exploded. <laughs> I want louder explosion, please. It needs to die more. It, it wasn't in enough pain. <laughs> Yeah, the SRM carrier has an alpha strike of 480 damage. So it is among the highest possible damage that anything in the game can do, actually. Try to hollow out this Warhammer. Yes, Commander. Or immediately seeing that that wasn't going to work out. Yeah, Rambovarine has to get back up. And will be shot at twice before that can happen. But then can probably just go ahead and stomp the Gallant. Maybe just walk. Just walk forward. Fire everything. Let's see. Primary target taking damage. Primary target 
Yeah. Both carriers are down. All right. Enemy and the destroyed. Thunderbolt, or whatever it is, I forget what it's called, um, is only half equipped at right now anyway. So it's a little dangerous, that but... Shot went internal. Rainbow Vereen's entire front has been power sanded off. Regain stance, Commander. Well, then all it has to do is turn around. That, being able to do that by the for anyone watching, by the way, is the point behind the uh, the piloting like uh, master technology. Yes, being able to shoot and then move, it's so that you can shoot and then twist your body away from what you've been shot by already. It it keeps you alive for longer. If any two of these lasers hit the center torso. Looks like all three of them hit the side torso. Inflicted some heavy damage. Bones and bird horse can start cleaning up vehicles now. When did the AI get so bloodthirsty? The level of focus fire on display. Major armor lost. Astounding. Armor breach. Internal damage. I am extremely impressed. Rainbow Marine's still up. Wow. Fifty torso health left. Commander. Wild. Is there anything any enemies going on your initiative pass here? No, I have this entire phase to myself. All right. So I can stomp. Yeah, the stomp is going to breach any plate of armor on this thing. Yeah, yeah. And then the SRMs and machine guns. Well, the yeah, machine guns will finish it. Although, do I stomp the gallant sooner than I stomp the Shrek? I don't like the thought of the gallant getting away. There. Okay. Yeah. Gallant will not get away. We're reporting. Enemy mover down. I'm here. Please die, Warhammer. This Warhammer will not go down. Jeez. Warhammer, log off. Who's telling me to log off? Bird Horse can go stomp the PPC, the, uh, the Shrek. And we'll also stomp through anything but the turret. One hundred and ten damage. So, yeah. If it did, any, if it hit anything except for the turret, it would have killed it in one shot. One for the scrap heap. Awaiting orders. Firing jump jet. Yeah, no, striker. Striker. 
And still, this Warhammer, defiant to the lat, 10 torso health left. Go for this. There. Got there. Okay. That was a really meaty uh, fall down animation. That was good. The animations on all of the, uh, the newer robots were better in general. I'm going to need a medic. Well, standing by. I'd rather use weapons, but get your lance to the LZ commander. I'm coming in hot. No retreat. We're reporting enemy mover awaiting orders. Affirmative. Ah! Enemy vehicle to Mission successful. Oh, I'm the ready. robot's fine. My equipment. The Junior's okay, rebound is fucking dead. Junior's okay, though. My various plus lasers went up in flames. Need to hire another pilot. Another perfect mission. Okay, this Wolverine. Even without fancy beams, I think the design plan here holds. You don't need fancy beams for, uh, for the most part, technically speaking. Rainbow Wolverine can still function. There it is. And the heat efficiency. Heat no efficiency. Thanks. I'm good. It had. It needed more jets. We're putting more jets into it. Then the heat sinks. This garbage, though. Yeah, the problems with uh, not being able to work in anything but fives. That's annoying. You can force it to work in fives, but you have to lower numbers. How are five points of armor off this arm? How do they not weigh the same as five points of armor onto this arm? They should? They don't. What? Okay, it's because they're 39s right now. When you shave four off, it, when you shave five off, it actually only shaves four off, and the other one increases by one. Why? So you actually only have three tons as separate. 
So you would have to also go into the other ones that are, you know, at non-five values and make those equal out as well at fives. Uh... This thing is so fragile. I accept this. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. All right, are there any smaller jobs? So I guess hiring hall, who lives here? Battle cry, deuce, Seneschal, yes, tank. Commander. Time slice Wait, and trapper. I like time slice. Time slice. It was already pretty... bulwark. And bulwark's a good thing to have. A petty criminal and a convict, and you're hired. Sounds great. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Available. Did time for slicing. I'm here. I'm ready for order. Yes, Commander. You you do need to learn how to shoot guns better, though. Oh, yes. boy. Work on that. What was rebound skill said? Yes, Commander. Gun. It was it was all gun all the time. Timekeeper, Sea Dragon, and rebound. All gun havers. Mech warrior training complete. Ready for orders. Hey. Reporting. So, thinking about this in terms of classes. Skeletor will become Master Tactician. Training confirmed, Commander. Meaning that the Tangus will become Ace Pilot. Training complete. As the Apprentice. Orders. That's both of those classes represented. Ready for orders. Receiving you. Timekeeper, you will do Kulin Flush. You will be primary guts. Mech warrior training complete. Commander? Right here. Commander? Meaning rock will become breaching shot and bulwark. Standing by. Sea dragon is instead about guns and tactics, guns and piloting? Guns and piloting. Training confirmed, Commander. Receiving you. At some point that will all shake out and we'll have one of each flavor. Cash is tight though. There's that annihilator right there. The annihilator is right there. One of these days we'll learn how to do medical stuff better. It's fine. Right now all we have is the bone pod and then, you know, like a gurney with a bunch of scalpels around it. That's all you need, right? You check into medical and the one question of your diagnostic is, do you need the pod? And most answer no and are not placed in the pod.
Are you requesting the pod? This is probably a bit spicy for our current resources. Yeah, Discord just had itself a moment. It happens. There is a black market back here in the tutorial zone. Yes, yeah, so let's head to Alloway. Low gravity manufacturing periphery society. By your command. I'm still thinking about that annihilator. I'm always thinking about that annihilator. It's a good robot. Ah. Of course. Fish is sad. Oh, no. Rock, though. <laughs> How in the world did this stick around into the future? You, Get out of here with that. Little red balloons. Ugh. Alternatively, balloons are now mandatory. It's part of the branding. Start of the battle, when we get with you out there, you've attached a bunch of balloons to your mech. If you come back for each balloon that is intact, bonus pay. Think about it. It just makes sense. You're not hearing Darius say we're nearly broke, Commander. Every single month you're not playing the game correct. Every month, every week, every day. That's just how you greet each other. Yes. All right, so what's the black market guide What here? What do we got Archer in local parts. crime on Alloway? More Annihilator, although it's 10 million for an entire Annihilator. Yeah, but you get a huge discount. Oh, more me. Annihilator parts. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, also, we can finish buying our Annihilator here. Also, hey, Atlas. Hey, Atlas 2. Straight up the Atlas 2, which by itself costs 24 million. Many awesome parts. Crab parts. Crab. Portions of crab. Crab discovered. For just a million bucks, I could finish a crab. <laughs> For just millions of sea bills a day. Griffin. Uh, the Highlander. Highlander. Islander is great because it's like the best jumper out of all of the assaults. We well, can launch. Yeah, three. I think the the Highlander, whatever it is, has the four slots for it. Javelin, Stalker, more Victor, and various large cannon. Hey, LBX twenty, LBX twenty plus plus. Yo, ER large laser ER plus, large plus laser plus plus. That's a that right there is a reduced tonnage, reduced heat PPC, actually. Plus 20 damage AC 20, always a classic. Mm -hmm. The plus 20, plus 20. I'll be 20 X, however, cost relatively little. The small plus plus. Also good. Plus plus cockpit mod, three more injuries. 
that point the pilot is more durable than the machine around them. <laughs> Honestly, yes. Stompy legs. I will take your stompy legs. Energy targeting computer is okay. Energy targeting computer can be fantastic. Ballistic targeting computer is the best of the targeting computers, but... Local work, too. though. Hey. What do you do for crime in this system? What's the pirate life out here? A vast E. Local brigands. I destroy pirate base. Battle in lowlands against pirate. No. Stop this. Why are you? Okay, there we go. We against go. Free Worlds League. Now, this is paying an awful lot for a skull and a half mission. That's, you are lying through your teeth, local government. I mean, that's not a bad thing. I might take that job. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll take an honest one. Well, that also seems very dishonest. For one skull for that much? Yeah, Half a million for one skull. Hmm. What are all these the fake time, missions doing here? That also sounds fun, though. At the same time, that, that probably means they put all of the all of it onto, like, one mech. A or single, like very large robot, and I can get two salvage even at that low of yeah. a mark. Bone Force out. Rock in here. Get Timekeeper into bone? No, Timekeeper into eggs. Because that's a mech that needs to manage heat. Or no, Timekeeper into bird horse. That is the mech that needs to manage heat. And then... Yeah, you into bones, so you can tough things out. Sea dragon into eggs. Yeah. Yeah. And then I can plausibly have the light mechs do the one, do other one skull missions. I'm sending the mediums into this one skull mission. Yeah, this one skull mission right here. Definitely only one skull available on this mission. If it actually ends up being one skull and it pays this well, that would be in ridiculous is what it would be. Perplexing. Yeah. This is the kind of operation that gives you ramshackle king crap. <laughs> Just suddenly, oh, what if it's, what if it's Annihilator? What if it's nude Annihilator? <laughs> Boneless Annihilator. Just wibbling around. Interface initiated. Hmm. Okay. You never know what so it was, yeah, this is one that, oh yeah, no, this is absolutely flat out lying to you because someone else also hired a squad for this one. All buildings must survive. Hold out for reinforcements. Destroy enemy vanguard. On my way. Well, let's get him. Okay, let's go. I, I'm not super fond of the defense missions in general. They have a tendency to be out of your hands. Time to earn our money. That's a Fleer Locust, I think. Yep. It is honestly hard to make out twos versus sevens in the Discord screen share. Okay, this is a damaged Light Lance. Now we're talking. And that's a Raven. A Locust. Standing by. 
All right, everyone, pick a dance partner, I guess. We'll go. Go crack some heads. Attempting physical attack. <laughs> I appreciate the headbutt. That was good. That's how Bones hey. Jr. does. Two steps forward. One step forward, one step forward. Orders. Firing jump jet. Solid connection, that one. Receiving you. You should destroy this baby. Well, should at least harm this baby. Because I want its attention. Roger that. Since it stood exactly where I can't melee it. Inflicted some heavy damage. Those flamethrowers' flames extremely did not touch that robot in the slightest. They've got a sensor lock on me. Oh no, the beep. You gotta, appreci you gotta appreciate when the raven goes last aye, and then aye. does the beep. It is a choice it could make in life. Mm hmm. Alright, let's end Move fire starter. This should probably end the fire starter. Barring another miss like that. Bones. One. Bones. Junior. Commander. Waiting for orders. We worry about you, Junior. Yeah. Believe that hit the left. There we go. I believe that hit the everything. I got it. Yes, Commander. Knocking off. Much better. Mech destroyed. Work. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. So a very frustrating thing about uh, the reinforcements is that although you just visually saw that dropship shop show up over there, that's not a guarantee that that's where they showed up. They can be around like anywhere in like a large area from that area. Yeah, we'll hear from them in a moment. It's just very oh, annoying no. because that sometimes means you can't actually get to them. Commander. And then, whoops, they walk up to you and they destroy one of the buildings and it's completely out of your hands. Mm hmm. You're just standing exactly where I'm not allowed to punch you, I guess. Too narrow. Locking in all weapons. I think I hit something good. Here. All right, that was, that was, yeah. no! 
And we go off of combat time. As long as you're able to do this, that means you have at least one round where you aren't trading fire. On the move. Yes, Commander. Advancing, I guess. Yeah, that that is extremely tons. not where that dropship landed. Awaiting orders. Orders. One assault there, and one assault over there. No. We're going after this one first, but I still need to get the attention of the other. Commander. Orders. Hurt horse. Keep an eye on it. Yes, Commander. That. So that's probably a victor if it's 80 tons. They've got a sensor lock on me. Annihilator. An annihilator. What? Hello. Annihilator. annihilator. Oh my goodness! Also, that's a free chunk for your annihilator. Perhaps more. Awaiting orders. Maybe more. Imagine. Imagine. So the victory is actually a very fragile robot. That's oh, awesome. Oh, it's an awesome. Never mind. What's up? The awesome is not fragile. The awesome's rather tough. Mm-hmm. That's Meat Mac, right there. Yeah. But you made it the four PBC awesome, correct? Yes. I went further beyond. And then the six large laser awesome. Hey. Copy. Yeah, so this is... Yeah, no, this was an incredibly fake one-star mission. Oh, boy. One skull? More like... One skull if the moment these guys showed up, you you escape. You run. Yeah. You surrender to 200 tons of mech. 180 tons of mech. The fact that there is a 100 tonner mech on this, though, is ridiculous. The Annihilator is a very scary machine. Gonna bank now, on, on throwing hand... a lot of multi-attacks toward this thing's face. Now, on the other hand, the fact that there is a uh, Annihilator over here is actually surprisingly, like, that's good in a way. Good to go. That's going to save you money later on down the line. That's a million sea bills at least. That's good danger pay. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I would be absolutely terrified to put robot. anything nearby that robot because... Yes. That's... That's why I need to get its attention immediately. Hello, Annihilator. What do you do with that bot? I think you annihilate with it, if I had to guess. That is 288 damage worth of guns. It's fine. Reduced by you know, bulwark and stuff and all that. So, like, not as dangerous by numbers, but... Jeez. Aye, aye. It's scary. Yeah. So I've got one shoulder opened up on the awesome, and I've worn down most of its forward armor. You can't hit it in the head from the back. 
So, yeah. Confirm. Confirm. Okay, crediting the PPCs is actually really Going nice, too. Hit. They're not destroyed, but they have a minus three to actually hit with those now. Mm -hmm. And they're probably within the minimum range, so it's even less likely to hit. Just get as many bullets as possible into range and fish for the headshots. Also, if I ruin all of its heat sinks, then it just can't function. Pretty much, yeah. It will fall asleep. And be dealt with. Roger that. Firing on target. Okay. Inflicted you got in the head once already. And it's took off a side. It's only a tactician, which means I think it. It, it only has, has the three health. One damaged PPC left, and then the slicer. You want done? Yeah. Of course, it's an awesome, which means that its melee attack is extremely deadly, but... Yes. The evasion from jump jetting all over the place is probably going to be super helpful. Because yeah. the more that the Annihilator actually shoots its its guns, the less likely it is to hit with them. Is a recoil. Mm-hmm. Just got to stay visible while moving at extreme speed. And don't let anything important be behind me. Mm -hmm. Against two assaults, evasion is a very real mechanic. Nice shot, idiot. Did mom make it for you? It's a good firing solution for a clown. Palisid, you bones in there, and you probably finish this. I mean, its center torso is still rock solid. You're hoping to get its head and or the side torso off. Head and sides. Giving them everything I've got. Probably All right. Past, that is a full number Bro, of shots. That is three that awesome. awesome. Into the loot pool. Yes, now, if you can do the same thing to the Annihilator here... Then that's an that would Annihilator. Because yes. you have an Annihilator. You have two chunks you can choose from, and so on and so forth. And I would have the Annihilator. Uh, for what it's worth, the reason why the Annihilator only fired one shot there is because of a me mechanic with auto cannons. That they actually saw recoil... Yes. If it just nice. He was looking to mitigate recoil. All right, you. Commander. There is a lot that I would be happy to trade for you right now. <laughs> if you want to take out one of these, or maybe even two of these robots, go. go for it. How many lives must be sacrificed to get Skeletra into that Annihilator? I want your bot. Give me your bones. <laughs> I want it so bad. Uh, you have a free knockdown from the leg. The side torso is also destroyed chunks. Scored a critical hit. You're you're currently the What's chunks that, that these shots are choosing to take is actually extremely contributing to possibly getting this robot. Yeah, left side. Got to work left side. Got to get real close to left arc. Well, moving very quickly. No beams this time, just the machine guns. Got the drop on you, pal. This became a back attack. Unfortunate. Whatever, it's fine. It's progress. It's afraid. It's very afraid. Yeah, it did nothing. Uh, it was very afraid of, of falling down is what that was. Yeah. Oh man, this is almost as exciting as that time you found a ramshackle king crab. But this time you're actually going for it. Makeshift oh, Annihilator. 
I <laughs> grazed him. I think, I think only one of those hit. Yeah. What? No. Glancing blow. Now, if it does decide at any point here to throw caution to the wind and just unload on you with a full like ally, someone will die immediately. Yes. yes. Yeah, go. All right, damage one cannon. That looked like a critical hit. Yes, Commander. Uh, the gang is all clearly. working together to get a present for the boss once she's back out of the crypt. <laughs> Skeletra is hooting and hollering over the comms right now about how much she wants this robot's bones. Bring me its bones! <laughs> I demand its internal structures! Left leg destroyed. Okay. And that's free called shots while it's down, so... Yep. So I can snip the torso? Only one damaged cannon. But, you know, if I take out the one torso, that will be two of the cannons removed. And now, while you still have the machine guns, you may as well fish for the, the headshot anyway instead. Worth it. Is he old? Worth it. Yo. Worth it. Go. Okay. It's not going to do enough damage to actually, like, destroy it, so that's fine. Yeah, so it's going to be crit fishing into that shoulder, which is probably what I just stomped anyway. You got there. Perfect. Surgical. Worth it. <laughs> that is a free annihilator. Congratulations. Mission you only successful. bought a sink, like, two chunks of it. A million sea bills. <laughs> That was such a good mission! Sometimes the lying is good! I love being lied to! I love uh, fraud! I only had the one chunk, chunk on me. hand, but I have the cash to buy the fourth chunk. Yeah, and also, come on, and get the free third chunk. Big money! No big money. No. But Regular you money. A, you got the locust chunk to sell another locust, so... Yes. It's time for crime. So the Annihilator was also my first assault. And by first assault, I mean I got an assault before I got any heavies on my new playthrough, and it was the Annihilator. And yeah. let me tell you, it's it's quite powerful. It's very capable to have an assault like this. Hey, Locust. Let's put you out to the pasture. Probably sell the worst horse. I really want to, and I, I do really want to make this work right now. One locust. Auto cannon spider can leave. Vindicator. It jeffed well. It's done its job. And now it's time for the sequel to Jeff. The Jeffelator. Yeah. Hold on. Jeff later when actually written down would look very poor. So. Questionable. Behold! Now that's a robot. Yeah. Alright. It's time to load this out. This is a very slow robot. So check out how much innate room features for activities. plus 20% ballistics damage and extra max stability. The fact that I had it worried about falling down is very impressive. Yeah. It's Try the maxing out its armor and seeing how much room for activities you have. All of it. Do you see actually? Yeah. 52.75 tons available to work with. And you have an invincible robot at this point. My bones are maximum. <laughs> Alright, now let's actually... Now, the most important step, first of all, claim the mech as our own. 
Now, what do I arm it with? I have all ultra cannons. I have ultra cannons. I have ultra cannons. Yes. I want you to point out. I want you to see that there are five cannon slots on this thing. I have ultra cannons. Heat efficiency, no. Firepower, yes. <laughs> this by itself is enough firepower. You don't need any more than this. It's a good amount of firepower. If I remember right, mine ended up having two UAC 10s and three UAC 2s on it. It was a sniper bot that was undefeated of the East. Hmm. Does mean I'm loading it with more than one kind of ammo, and that's a bit gross. I would prefer yeah. to, synner, to to synchronize all my calibers here. If you just had five UAC fives, for instance. Yes. So I could drop the ultra fives and put in some regular tens. Yeah. Or right, right, tens. Two ultra tens, two standard tens. Still, heat efficiency of no thanks. It's so hot in here. Shit is crazy. Two jets. Two jets. Potential for two jets. This might be... I don't even have any assault jets. Yeah, assault jets are expensive, if I remember right, too. Eh, 77. And they're two tons each. I should harvest the equipment off of some of the uh, the mediums. That's what's missing here. I need to like yeah. bring in the Ultra 10. Yeah, the LBX 10 off of Bone Force 5. That needs to be passed up to your new eldest brother. Although LBX ammo is different from regular ammo. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I could leave the LBX alone. The snub though. Maybe. Unfortunately, with LBX, it does not just shoot five shots of the same ammo type at the same time. <laughs> They're shells. They actually fire giant robot-sized shells. We need to go out on an expedition to find more cannons. <laughs> Make our way back to the gun planet, where they sold all the guns. There's a UAC-20 for sale here. There is an Ultra-20 for sale here. I've, I've done 20s. Well done Meat That's Team had a lot of 20-based builds. Yeah, the Tens, especially UAC tens, are really good in heavy metal, so it's a good place to, to to worry about, you know. Mast guns on this thing is something that you don't get to do most of the time, so it's actually kind of fun and unique to do it. So assault jets. Air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> Single token heat sink. The like mod, so it can use the self jets in melee range if it wants to. So, Jeez. Ultra 10. This thing would do so much damage in a death from above. It would be disgusting. Crunch. And so I need AC 10 ammo. Probably need many boxes of AC-10 ammo to sustain these as primary weapons. And then just like some slazers for backup. Nothing wrong with the slazers. Little abeams. 
I mean, you may as well have medium lasers on it, right? There's like a couple. Yeah, we actually have the weight budget for regular Right, I'm working weapons. with 100 tons, not 50. Where's all this extra robot? Where'd it come from? Yeah, and the heat efficiency is kind of fake on this thing anyway, because um, you were unlikely to actually alpha with this thing. You're going to be using like... Every now and again, you'll you'll fire all six of them, but you're going to be firing as a bra bracket setup, probably. Mm, yeah. I leave the beams out of the primarily cannon attacks. Yeah. Also, if I find any double heat sinks, this is where they go. So that's another thing to think about. Oh, no, you lose a quarter of a ton of armor. <laughs> Whatever will you survive? This thing is comically tough. Yeah, fire it off every other turn and do that anyway to like bleed off the uh, the recoil penalties. Three hundred and seventy five damage, that's a start. One hundred tons of pure bone. You're dealing with almost two thousand armor on that robot. I want it 2, ready 000. right now. <laughs> All right, what what other job can we do to cool down from from triumph, from absolute victory? <laughs> A couple other ones that are lying to you. There are so. more liar missions. Maybe the rest of an awesome is out there somewhere in all this fraud. Maybe. You're on insurance fraud planet where we just don't talk about how big the battles are. Not versus pirates. Not versus pirates. Versus free worlds. The million bucks for a one and a half. What yeah, are you lying is... about? I'm pretty sure that's just going to be another... We, we lied that there's going to be some... Assault. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, this wait. Is a training mission. It's training day. Oh. You're this... lying so hard about this mission. All right, let's go. <laughs> are, you sure, are you sure you want to do that until until you get the Annihilator? The oh, the Annihilator could teach the children how to read. Exactly. Like, that happens before you have to make the uh, the money call anyway, so it's not that bad. Destroy a base in the desert for half. This seems closer to honesty. This, yeah, this one looks actually rather honest. Yeah, I'll take a team out for this. You don't have to do the teaching missions fast, so you can just have your super Titan robot over there slowly walk up and do all everything for everyone. If they give you any guff, just remind them that your armor weighs more than their entire machine. It's true. And to be fair, I will admit that that sounds like a really good idea, loading out an Annihilator exclusively with LB Dexes. Just a gigantic shotgun bot. A shotgun wall, yes. Like, if you got five fives, that'd be the ideal, I feel like. So that'd be comfortable to work with, do reasonable damage. And also means you could load up two machine guns on it as well. Got to work on a tan. Wide damage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you could also put like maybe one snub PPC on it. Affirmative. Yeah, has the has the backup. Okay. Has the Let's bayonet. Go. Sensors had something. It's just so it's so interesting. It's such a good robot. The annihilator rules. Thirty-five tons. 
Yeah, it seems like a light lance and then the turrets. Hey, commando. If there's a light, if there's a large laser coming out of a 25 tonner, there's only one thing that could be. Half a crab. <laughs> exactly half of a crab. There'll probably be reinforcements on this mission. Awaiting orders. If there isn't, then this one was lying to you in a different way. Yeah, the other kind of deceit. Being paid too well for too easy of a mission. Alright, so what are our turrets here? Light LRM, Light Sniper. Confirmed. Target site demolished. No. Now, yes, Commander. the one thing to be concerned about is I don't know if you're ready for how slow the Annihilator is. Lifting off. We will see. Firing. Whoa. Oh um, boy, here we go. Orders. The Discord stream has has had an, an issue happen. Seems fine on my side, or no, it is like raising some kind of complaint. Let me reset that. There we go. Okay. I provided you with visuals of what I was seeing. It's very intense. Hell yeah. Ah, the jab one. Yep. SRM oh, jab. The SRM jab. All right. That's a no, robot I, I can respect. Good to go. All right. Who do we unmake first? Well, all right. Rock is a very sniper. rookie pilot who is not able to overpower the uh, the agility. Not quite good at actually. Uh... Okay, hitting the head. Actually, though. a so genius. <laughs> all a ruse. A rookie pile of maybe, but I have never seen stray shots ever hurt like the player. Stray shots seem to be purely yeah, a player. Yeah, stray bonus. shots can only hit all other hostile things, hostile or neutral things. Yeah. I I wonder if this punch is going to be over unnecessary. No, sorry, it's a kink. First off. And okay, never mind. Score to critical hit. He's tough. Receiving you. Acknowledge. That hit hit in the head, good. side torso destroyed, leg, leg destroyed for knockdown. Is that a that's a dead uh That's a dead nice. pilot. You've been killing a lot of pilots lately.
when you use a lot of wide weapons, that's what happens. Light damage. Holding firm. Yes, Commander. Roger that. Attempting physical attack. Move to the head. Oh, I love the head. Not actually to the head, but Target's taking a critical kick hit. you in half. Kick you apart. I'll kick you apart. I'm here. Affirmative. The exact hex where I cannot see the fire starter through teammate. Now, well. well, it's not really a problem. Just means you're choosing a different target. Waiting for orders. And you fall down. Critical hit, Commander. Orders. Engaging. Inflicted some heavy damage. You swat at the robot, and the opposite side of it explodes. Awaiting orders. Move order confirmed. Ugh. That's a kill. Hey. Another dead commando. Mech destroyed. So now all you gotta really worry about is nothing really. Oh, Lucas, what could hit. what remaining turrets might be there on the base? Yeah. Yes, Commander. I'm impressed nothing that really. this locust is still around. See, if you're the lowest priority target in your squad, that's a kind of armor. In a way. Moving to position. Let's see how you like this. Reporting critical hit. Impressive. <laughs> One damaged medium laser is the only weapon it has left. 
position. Locking a target. Enemy structure damage command. to that. Aye, aye. On the move. Taking the shot. Moving to position. Firing. Ready to get it on. Affirmative. Roger that. Oh, there's another robot. Hello, reinforcements to opposing force. Confirmed. Two javelins. Taking the top. No. Yevelyn's here. To try to do anything. Yeah, I, I knew that there was going to be... I had a feeling that there was going to be some form of reinforcement, but this is pretty light as far as reinforcement goes. I'm here. Good to go. Coordinates received. Copy that. What now? And some mystery robot is hanging out in the backyard. What are you doing? Light damage, holding firm. Aye, aye. Hey, Battletech, you, uh... You doing okay? You having a problem there with imports. Hey, Battletech. 
I was escape responding. Battletech is using five gigs of RAM right now. Yes, that does happen. That is not exactly uncommon. Battletech is a, uh, it's a, <laughs> I would not say it's a particularly well-made game on the back end of things. Stand by. <laughs> yes. Unity is hungry. Yeah, they, they, they fixed some of that for a while and then made it much worse again. Yeah. Five billion. <laughs> Five billion. Can we convince any large studio to make small things again? I hope so. One of these days. Imagine a world where we take the amazing, huge power of hardware that we have achieved and then just use it to do humble software, but very, very well. Think about it. Also, make that gargantuan super hardware and then have it able to last a hundred years because you don't stress it out with everything that you run, but instead just take it easy. Yeah. Smart. Initiated. Okay. Hey. We're back. Ready to get it on. Orders. I'm here. Bones Jr. Advance. Roger that. Yeah, now that I think about it, that uh, that five gigs of RAM thing may very well have caused been what caused my uh, my moment on, on the Discord screen share. Potentially. Firing all One left target. Good to go. Standing by. On my way. Putting my weight into it.
Yes, Commander. Let's see how you like this. One last target. What now? Aim to finish this up efficiently. Moving out. I'm here. Affirm. Yeah, another thing about what's making this uh, this loadout be pretty effective at killing pilots, machine guns do deal a tiny bit of stability damage. Out. So I get a lot of knockdowns. Especially with like the deal of how stability damage works if you just need to get up into wobbly and then any additional stability damage yeah brings the fall so you can get that last hit in effectively horses horses are here and a panther I think? breach internal damage yes commander Do you get to actually eat through all of your machine gun ammo here? It has Wild. happened before. Reporting critical hit. It, especially with the Vulcan, because the machine guns no longer have support weapon range. They have short weapon range. Hey. Yeah. You can actually hit things with them at any distance. Head hit, no. pilot injured. Head hit, pilot injured. Head hit, pilot injured. Just roll good. I wound up denying myself the arc 
of... Huh? Well? What? <laughs> Pardon? You... <laughs> you don't get to shoot it, I guess. Um... You don't get to shoot anything, I guess. What? Weird. Oh, the general moved into position that you can shoot now. That very kind of it. Awaiting orders. Firing a full salvo. Scored a critical hit. My machine guns are empty. No problem. On my way. Head hit. Inflicted some Pilot damage. injured. Pilot incapacitated. There are going to be so many mech parts <laughs> available for this. Yep. Kind of spoiled for choice here on mech parts. I'll take a horse. Fire starter and a horse. Sounds smart. I will stow some of the javelins. Both of the javelins. Four Jenners can be a lance. What is the current loadout of Beams Jr.? Because I would just copy and paste this. Six jets, one heat sink, all beams. All beams. All beams. Every beams. More beams than you think you need. More beams than you want. Keep putting more beams on it.
Eames Jr. the second. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. For situations which require more beams. So this would have to be right horse. How many jets do I have on the previous horses? Five. Five jet, four beam. One thing I really wish you could do, the, the one th thing that's like a downside of the support hard points, is that I really wish you could just put small lasers into the the, the laser heart points here. Two yeah. smalls and two SRM4s would be like the perp, you know, four smalls, four SRM4s would be the perfect setup for a Jenner. Yeah, the possibility of like under equipping a hard point mm -hmm. would be nice. Yeah, this this is standard horse. This is. Alright, now I could have an outing for a light mission. I think we're out of those, though. Yeah, there's the million dollar training day, for which there is only one answer. Oh, we also have a bunch of uh, XP to spend. What's up, boss? Orders? What does fish do? Reporting. Uh, Commander? It's a really big question. What do you, what do, you do with fish? Commander? What? No. Mech warrior training complete. Yes, Commander. Training complete. Ready for orders. Ready for orders. Standing by. Ready for orders. Terrific. Yes, Commander. Awaiting orders. Training confirmed, Commander. I'll have to lay out a chart. Order. Commander. Of all the skill permutations. Yes. Orders. Orders. Ready for orders. Standing by. Fill it out eventually. I mean, everything lines up on the schedule here. We're nearly broke, Commander. Everything lines up on the schedule. It's time for children to learn. <laughs> Gather round and hear a tale. Looking forward, I think 5 LBX is the build to work towards. Sounds good.
just throw a solid wall of projectiles into the enemy. Wano, stubble, and burger time! Burger time! Now, yes! Burger time what? is here! We finally get to meet burger time! Hell yeah! Ah, uh, pirate names are all so good. I don't know why anyone doesn't hang out with pirates all the time. Roger that. If burger time dies, this is a failed mission, just so you're aware. Got you gotta have a, a mech pilot named Burger Time. Like if they Burger Time, who runs an urban mech. If I'm not allowed to like poach Burger Time off of the army. Roger that. Uh, behold the sprinting speed of Bone Force Nine. <laughs> it's very slow. <laughs> the jump. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Roger. The, the sprinting bonus from high piloting is almost necessary on the Annihilator. It is so slow. That's why I was saying is was, I don't know if you're ready for how slow the Annihilator moves. Yes, Commander. Did that just say 85 tons, by the way? Or is that no, 35? that's a 35. Okay. They could really use a better visibility font. Now, in the game's defense, it is not the game's fault in this instance. It is Discord screen share. Standing by. Well, at the resolution I'm playing at, I do have to squint at a lot of these numbers. Yeah, that's fair too. Just that I could not possibly make out whether it was 35 or 85 in that instance. Alright, locate the enemy, get their attention, and then draw them into the Annihilator. Not a great look for the accuracy yet. Do you need to close in? Not going to spend bullets on that. Just beans. Just leave the safeties on the cannons for the moment and just pretend that I am a very large Jenner. <laughs> With a broken leg. I'm under heavy fire. That's the simulation in this war game that we're conducting. Standing by. for orders. I'm walking here. Yeah, you do it. You fuck him up. Spider Drop punch him. You know what you're doing. See, students? See that guy? He gets it. Do that. That's a master right there. 
Position confirmed. Targeting for physical attack. Just use the skills I taught you. Okay, there. We've immobilized this one. Just do that. Enemy mech destroyed. Hot damn, let's do this. Damage is minor, Commander. Just for wargaming simulation's sake, pretend a meteor landed on that one. Commander? Commando v. Commando. Babies. Fighting babies. Incredible. And children of war. Burger time. I will be done. Burger time doing what must be. I'm going. Got it, Commander. Waiting for orders. See, now you are a true spider pilot. See, students, do that. That's how you mech fight. Shot. Just don't get hit. Tango down. Yeah, avoid that part, but everything else he did perfectly. <laughs> right up until the explosion. Skip that. Yeah. Commander? When your opponent, who is five times your size, has an open shot at your back, just don't get hit. Don't do it. Instead, annihilate your opponent with 20,000 tons of artillery. That's right, Burger Time, you did that. It was all you. Mission successful. A million sea bills.
Only jump jets survived. <laughs> Nothing remains. Annihilated. Well, Annihilator. Me. <laughs> The company is now uh, good to do whatever they feel like anywhere in space forever forever Truly invincible. Yeah. Ready for orders. Oh, good. That's what. Yeah, you you were pure gunnery. Yes. Twenty kills in nineteen missions. Survived nine wounds and then not the last wound. Almost a full year of fighting. Friends to pirates. Concern to everyone else. And yeah, I think the Annihilator is kind of the ideal central assault mech around the things I want to do with this team. It is the most gun-heavy bot. It is cannon machine. Yeah. We'll make good use of it. Next time.